Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a handgun. Uh, I guess that's what you would call this a display, a display stand. So um, we're going to go ahead and uh, it's going to be similar to this, but maybe a little different. We'll go ahead and open up Design Spark. Okay, once, uh, all right, well now we're going to go ahead and go to File, New, uh, create a new design, and then we want to come down here. Sometimes it closes up to this window. You just want to come down here to Design 2, and then we want to go ahead and change that to Plan View, or just hit V on your keyboard. It'll flatten it out for you. So now we want to go ahead and get our Rectangle tool. Uh, we want to make sure to define from center, and then we want to click and drag out. Our first dimension is going to be length. That'll be 200 millimeters. And then this uh, second dimension will be 90. So we're going to go 90 there. All right, now we're going to go ahead and uh, go to the 3D mode, which is this bottom one here. We're going to go ahead and spin this. And then we're going to pull this uh, 25 mill millimeters. And then we're going to have our base. And now we're going to click on the face there and go over here to plan view. Now we're going to go ahead and draw our rectangle here, define it from center. We'll click and drag. All right, I need to take a measurement real quick. So we're going to do this. Uh, let's see, 25. I think it was 27. So our first measurement is going to be 27. And then um, our thickness. Is going to be seventeen. Okay, so twenty-seven and seventeen. Hit enter. Okay, now I want to go ahead and round these corners a little bit. So we're going to go uh, do a one point five millimeter, and then do all these at one point five. Type in one point five, and then. Um, 1.5 and then the last one will be 1.5 okay so this is going to be our, our uh, replacement magazine so um, now we want to go ahead and um, let's go to the 3d mode we're going to go ahead and move this so we'll click there we'll go to move and just kind of drag it over to the right um, Let's just move this uh, 70, type 70 right there. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and spin this. Now let's go ahead and add some height to this. Let's type 80. And now we, what we want to do is go ahead and uh, multiple click this. Or just do the side there until you get everything selected. And now we want to move. We want to move this, so we're going to come over here and rotate by the green. So we want to rotate this. So basically, we, uh, the standard uh, degree angle for a grip, a pistol grip, is 22 degrees. So we want to go 360. Um, I think it's uh, plus 22. So okay. So let me see if it's plus or minus. We want to go. I'm going to go minus. So let's go uh, 360 minus 22 degrees is 338. So we want to type in 338 with that highlighted. And that's going to be our. And then with it still selected, we want to go to move and just kind of move this over. Uh, probably 20. So let's just move it over to 20. Okay. So now we got uh, control minus. This. Um, it's a little bit too tall so we want it to be 80 but since we rotated it it's probably too tall so what I'm going to do um, let's just go ahead and put click there and go to plan view I'm just going to draw a little circle here all right now we'll go to uh, let's go to our views 
go to trimetric, go to the 3D mode. I want to draw this up 80 just to see um, where we're at as far as, oh, it looks like it's, uh, it's probably all right. Okay, let me take another measurement, make sure this is going to be good. All right, so this is going to be, yeah, 80 is fine. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, let's do a couple of undos. Get back. Oh, actually, I didn't want to do that. Uh, oops. All right, well, let's go to pull. Oh, actually, no, that's good. Okay, sorry about that. Let's just go ahead and select this. Hit delete. Now I want to add a couple of uh, fillets in here so this these edges aren't that sharp. So let's just go ahead and pull, see what's going to look good there. Maybe just 1.1. Uh, and then we'll do one here, just uh, multiple click until you got the whole base. And let's just do a little bit bigger here, 1.75. All right, so let's go ahead and go look at this. This looks how I want it to be. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, just click the outside. We're going to come over here to uh, chamfer and select that. Now I'm going to put in a uh, generous chamfer in here so it doesn't look so boring. Let's just go undo. Let's put in seven for the chamfer there. Or maybe even let's just do five. Okay, five is good. Okay, this is going to be our... Uh, our basic uh, handgun uh, display, display stand, display. Yeah, I guess it would, that's what you would call it. Um, I don't think there's anything else I was going to do with this. Um, so that's going to end the tutorial there. We'll just go ahead and go back to Trimetric. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial on how to create a uh, pistol grip. Uh, this one you could use on any on any. Um, handgun that uh, it will fit uh, 200 millimeter in length is uh, is enough so it's not going to want to fall over and then this is uh, wide enough so it's going to you know if you hit if you print this with durable plastic it should be heavy enough to be able to hold your uh, your handguns uh, as a display uh, you could probably even put a plaque right here you know displaying uh, the make and model information maybe your name Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully you enjoy watching and you got some useful tips out of this video. And as always, thanks for watching.